Hey guys, this is a long pending video that I shot a while ago but posting it right now. This video is a short trip that I had from Chennai to Pondi. Pondicherry is also called Puducherry which is a union territory of India. It is about 152 kilometers from Chennai and because of this reason if anyone is looking for a gateway on weekends, it is the perfect place. Due to a wide variety of activities and places in Pondicherry, it is considered one of the hot tourist places in Tamil Nadu. I directly went to Arrowville that is about few kilometers from Pondicherry, which is an experimental man-made community. The goal of this place is to be a universal town where all gender of people of all countries are able to live in peace and progressive harmony above all politics, creeds and nationalities. Simply, the purpose is to realize the human unity in diversity. How fascinating, isn't it? There are a few places where you can visit such as Madhiv Mandir, Tri Aurobindo Ashramam and various communities who does farming and small scale businesses in Arogil. Since it was a weekend and plus I am a person who doesn't like crowd, I decided not to go anywhere but be in the wonderful naturalistic atmosphere of my stay. I stayed at Nebula Nest Hostel which was really affordable and good. You can find a lot of hostels and stays like this in Arrowville. Away from all the city nuisance, all you need a place like this, where there would not be any luxury that much, but just peace and calmness of our inner mind. It was already evening when I reached there, and for dinner I went out in Arrowville Pisa Kese Cafe. I already decided that on this trip I would only try Italian English cuisines. Hence, I had pasta, french fries and some juice. While in night, I could literally listen to the chirping of the crickets around me and the vibe of the place was really wonderful. Silent environment and climate was also superb. Next day early morning, I woke up and I was sightseeing the state. I was very thrilled to see how foreigners start their life by doing yoga and meditations which makes me think how important they are giving for the mental health. Then I started a walk to a forest nearby, which literally made my mind very suitable. Charlie and Brownie become my companions to pave the way. I couldn't believe that all these were built by people to have a close relationship with nature. You can't even see any litter or waste here. And how beautifully people in Arrowville are maintaining it. Small sculptures on the way. And the path was going like a never ending road. If it was possible, I would stay in this place forever and ever. Saying bye to Arrowville, next destination was Pichavaram Mangrove Forest, which is famous for this boating. Pichavaram is in Kadalo district and because of the construction of the main road, it was really hectic journey from Pondicherry to reach there. I didn't even expect this much of crowd there. I think the whole world of people were there only. Such a bad idea it was. Without even getting for a ticket, I came back due to the massive crowd. On the next day, I stayed at a place called Hollywood Guest House, which was near to the harbour. I quite like the balcony view where you can see lighthouse and boats in the harbour. The only one thing which was constantly ringing up in my mind was food. 
Hence, I decided to go to the French colony in Pondicherry to try some cakes and pastries. This cafe is late with it for the food was really affordable but the taste wise I cannot give full mark because some of it were good and some weren't. I had strawberry tart, some macarons, cinnamon roll, American cheesecakes, croissant, chocolate twister and cappuccino. Walking through the French colonies, from there I went to the rock beach in Pondicherry and Lake Cafe to spend some quality time there. To have a milkshake with this wonderful beachside experience, what else I can ask for? On the whole, Pondicherry trip was really simple, but it, it was a beautiful memory. Thank you for watching.